Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today we're going to be covering how to use the use hash hook. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a use date type of variable. So we're going to do const hash and set hash. It's actually going to be equal to use hash for maintain hooks like so. That's pretty much all you really need to do. Um, now what I can do is if I wanted to make a button and I can do on on click run our set hash to equal random ID. Now this random ID is actually an import that comes straight out of uh, Mantine hooks. And I'm just gonna type in here, get new hash. And at the bottom right here, I'll do, oh right, we need to call this as a function. And right underneath here, all we're gonna do is do a simple text, or we can do a div, um, but we're gonna do current hash, and in curly braces, we'll just do hash, like so. Now, if we were to save this, and we click on get new hash each time, we're gonna see that we have this ad hashtag man time, and that's something that usually you don't wanna see if you have a production type of app, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so to get rid of that, it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna do dot replace on top of the hash. Now we can't apply it on top of here because it doesn't allow us to get rid of it on initial, on initialize. So we have to actually get rid of it when it's changed. So we're gonna do replace and we're gonna replace the first part of it. So hashtag man time dash and we'll replace it with just a simple hashtag. And so now if we get a new hash, we'll see that we have um, we have a proper so now we can actually use this inside of a URL if you wanted so it's not hashtag man time um, it'd be hashtag let's say uh, hashtag your company for example or whatever you would like all right so that covers how to use a use hash hook in man time if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video peace